Hello and welcome to my crib, also known as the back of my Subaru, which I am slightly too tall to be sitting in like this, but oh well. Um, so I'm making this video because I did a little poll on my Instagram to see how many people had emergency kits in their car and 86% of the people who follow me said that they didn't. And I found that extraordinarily stressful. Um, so just in like one shot, I'm not going to edit this because I'm very lazy. Um, but I'm going to go through the stuff that I keep in my car and the stuff I think that you should keep in your car um, in case of emergencies. And this thing that I'm waving around is my number one like first thing that you should have. Um, you can get them for $5 at Walmart, I know, because I went and price checked all of this stuff last night. Um, and this is a little escape hammer, which you should keep in your center console. Um, so the point of this is if you roll your car or are otherwise pinned in the car and cannot open your door or get out, this little tip right here will break your windshield. And this little br blade, not braid, blade, <laughs> will uh, rip your seatbelt so that you can, you know, if you have to, I'm not actually going to obviously cut this, but you would put it through here like this and you could cut your um, seatbelt off. We're gonna put that back up so that I don't hit my head on it. Um, cut your seatbelt off, break your windshield, and get out of your car so that you are not stuck in the car. Um, so this is number one. Don't keep it in the back of your car. Keep it in your center console. Um, my batteries are dead in this, which I need to replace them. That's on my list of stuff to actually do today. Um, but it does also have like an LED light on the end, which is super helpful as well. So that's number one. Um, and then we're gonna come to the back of the car, which is why I'm bumping my head on the ceiling back here. Um, so first, I'm gonna go through just some of my like year-round essentials and some of the winter-specific stuff as it is currently winter in the United States. Um, so I keep everything in these little $3 bins that I got from Walmart. Um, that way it stays organized and you can also move it around really easily in the trunk if you need to make space for groceries or whatever like obviously like people need to use their trunks um so these are super easy to just like transport into like other areas for the purposes of doing whatever you need to do um so the first thing led lantern this is great for when you are driving in upstate New York and your tire starts smoking and you have to pull over on the side of the road and make a repair which I had to do not that long ago um, this is a really handy one because it's super bright. This is actually like a camping lantern. Um, this was $10 at Walmart. I'm not going to turn it on because it's really bright. Um, but this is a great one to have because you can just sit it somewhere. If you're working on the ground or something like that, you can just sit it on the ground and it'll light up your whole little space, which is super helpful. And also if you do go camping, ta-da, you already have a camping lantern. So double, double prepared, basically. Um, and following that... I also keep in my toolbox um, this, which literally was $2 at Walmart, and it's just a little, like, it's just a little head lantern. Um, it looks stupid, I understand that, but the thing is that, you know, if you're having to bend over the car or you're having to check something at night, if you're alone especially, which I am not normally driving with other people, so if there's an issue, like, I don't always have somebody to hold this for me and if you're trying to do something underneath your hood or something like that this is really helpful because you don't have to like set a lantern anywhere you can just take this little thing and turn this on and like you know do whatever you need to do um these were two dollars at walmart they die not super fast but i mean it's a two it's two dollars so um you know when they do die they're super easy to replace so i just keep those in my toolbox um, I actually have a list here which I'm going to use because I will forget stuff otherwise. Um, so during the winter time especially, this is something that I love to keep with me, is these little basic fleece blankets. Um, they're just like throws. I keep two in the car at all times. Um, these are $2.50 at Walmart. Again, I price checked all of this, I know. Um, these are really handy if you, you know... They're handy for a number of reasons. Number one, primarily, is obviously if you're cold um, or if you are stuck somewhere, this is great. Um, but I also like to keep them during the summertime, too, because they're great to just throw down if you decide to have a picnic somewhere, if you go to the beach and you forgot your towels, but you should have towels. Um, <laughs> these are just great, like, all-purpose, super cheap to just keep in your little bin. So we'll put those back. 
Um, and then, especially because I'm obviously uh, semi-bald, basically, I like to keep an extra little fleece hat. Um, this one is lined on the inside, so it's super nice and warm, which is great. Um, this was $4, so, you know, very handy. Um, and I also keep a couple of extra gloves in here. Um, especially just during winter time, you just never know. Um, I do also personally like to keep one or two extras in the car. That way, you know, if you're driving around and you do see somebody who is homeless, um, who may not, you know, be prepared for winter <laughs> as far as clothing, like you can always stop and like, you know, give them a blanket or give them your extra gloves or whatever. Um, which is why I like to keep extra. These were also $4 at Walmart for both of them. And then this is another like extra hat that I have in here. Um, I don't have it in here right now because I'm actually washing it, but I do also keep like an extra like thermal shirt um, if you do have to stop somewhere and like make a repair or something like that. Um, it's nice to have like an extra layer that you can throw on. Um, just stuff all those back in the little box. Um, I also keep two little rain ponchos, um, an essential in my humble opinion because during all times obviously we're not trying to just like be soaking wet if we have to fix the car during winter especially wet and cold is obviously a very bad combination you don't want to get sick um ideally so these are um 89 cents each at walmart i believe um so i just keep two of them in the same little bin i also keep a bulk pack of these hot hands um, which these, these I really keep for like, in like a worst case scenario, if you are like fully broke the fuck down and you are stranded and you need to like stay warm until somebody is coming and getting you, these are great. Um, they last for 10 hours. They keep your hands warm. Um, they're called hot hands. You probably could have guessed that. <laughs> um, this is a 10 pair bag. So there's 20 in here and, um, this was $10 at Walmart. Um, and these are also great to just like have a couple of extra you can hand out to people if you see that they are out in the elements. Um, but yeah, these are great. Um, and you know, if you were really, really, really trying to stay warm, like you can also keep a couple like, you know, in your core, <laughs> um, to help you stay warm in an emergency relating to that. I also keep a first aid kit. Jesus. I was really upset by how many of the people who follow me on Instagram sent me DMs and told me they didn't even have a first aid kit. It kind of gave me a panic attack. Please get a fucking first aid kit. You don't ever know when something is going to happen. Um, I personally really like this one because this is a camping first aid kit. So you're prepared for a little bit more. If you go into a pharmacy section at like a CVS or a Walmart or something like that, you can find a first aid kit that's going to have like ibuprofen and like band-aids and like, um, what's the word, uh, alcohol pads and things like that. I really like this one because it has more than that. Um, so this one also has like waterproof bandages. Um, it also has like sterile, like trauma pads. It has gloves in it, which is important. Um, and also there's like little things like there's safety pins in here. There's tweezers in here. There's antacid, aspirin, and non-aspirin. Um, there's also burn cream, um, insect cream, um, sting relief if you were to get like poison ivy or something like that. Um, yes, yeah, so there's a lot of cool things in here. This was $24, I believe. I literally bought it last night, so I should know. Um, because my old one was kind of like spent. <coughs> Sorry, I just hiccuped. Um, my old one was kind of spent. So this is great. If you pop it open, um, it does also glow in the dark, which is nice. Um, so everything is organized. So this is like, you have your wipes, you have tablets, you have ointments, you have um, other, which is just the gloves and the cold compress. You have cover and protection. So you can look in here, let me put these down, and you can see there's the gauze, there's safety pins, there is cleaning wipes, there's band-aids, there's um, surgical tape, is that what it's called? You know, there, there's the tape that you use to tape things. Um, so this I consider to be an essential, um, especially because I do farm work. I think it's nice to have something that is a little bit more prepared. I mean, also working in food, I cut myself all the time. I literally like cut both of my thumb knuckles open yesterday at work and I was just, you know, bleeding and it was great. 
So this is a great little option. Let me just make sure this is all going back in here correctly for my OCD. Okay, cool. Um, and, and it glows in the dark, which is cool. Um, I just prefer this one to the smaller first aid kits because I just feel like I'm a little bit more prepared for other things that I wouldn't necessarily think of, like poison ivy or whatever. I do tend to like take day trips and things like that. And I also tend to go on little hikes and just kind of like, I, I tend to do things very spur of the moment <laughs> and not be prepared for something to happen. Uh, so this is a great option for me. So that takes care of my first little bin. And you can see it all fits really neatly inside of there. And then this little space would be for my thermal. It's just in the washing machine right now. So this is your first bin and I'll just toss that right over there this is my second bin um so this doesn't fit in the bin but this is just like a swath of really thick sort of like carpety kind of fabric and the point of this um is that you have something to kneel on so if you do have to pull over and like change a tire or something like that you're not having to kneel on like gravel or whatever else that might like cut your knees open um, I didn't actually think of this. This was in the car that I got from my grandmother because she had it in there and I was just like, that's fucking smart, Mimi. You're prepared. Um, so this just folds up and it normally just lives right back here. Um, but it's not right now because I'm sitting here. So in this bin, I keep some of my other like extra things. Um, so this covers sort of like I keep some granola bars, I keep some crackers, I keep some little like fruit strips. Um, a lot of the people in my family are diabetic, so I think it's nice to have stuff around if someone's blood sugar is low, or if you're just running around and you like need food, like it's just good to have. Or again, if you are stranded somewhere, it's good to have food. Um, these are just some cough drops um, if you're sick. And then I also keep some almonds for, you know, a little bit of protein. I also keep, normally I have a six pack of water bottles in this car. This is the last one. It's not as fancy as it looks. These were on sale. Um, uh, because a lot of them froze and a couple of them, like the plastic broke. So um, my mom told me that if you get just like one of those like shitty little like foam coolers, It'll keep your stuff from freezing so i need to get one of those but for right now i have this and i have one other bottle up front but normally those will live in here as well and i also keep some little these are washcloths that were 50 cents at walmart um just some extra rags to like have um on hand you never know if you need to like clean a cut or something like that or if you are driving in the middle of nowhere and your friend needs you to pull over so that they can pee <laughs> It's just good to have some options that you can toss away. Um, I also have a box of Kleenex, but I'm realizing right now that it's too far away for me to reach, so it's just not going to be in the video, sorry. Um, but I do keep a box of Kleenex as well. Um, I also normally have a box of electrolyte packets um, that you can put in the water, um, but I don't know where they are right now. I just reorganized the car, so I think they are not in this box. They're in another box somewhere, so sorry. But those are good to have too. Like the little, um, what are they called? Not Gatorade, but they're similar to Gatorade that you can put in the water, give you a bunch of electrolytes, keep you, you know, hydrated, what have you. Let me take a look at my list and see what I'm forgetting because I know I'm forgetting things in this moment. Oh, duh. Let's see here. Where is our other kit? One moment technical difficulties called I don't know where my thing is because I just organized this car ow oh shit it's up front okay it's up front so I can't pull it out right now but I do also keep a car emergency kit um, it's one of those like just in case brands um, and in it, it, I know that it has like jumper cables, it has a flare, it has an extra flashlight, um, it has some little orange like cone things that you can put up around the car if you are having to like pull over on a busy street or something like that for repairs so people can see you. Um, and it has some other things like that. It's up front right now because I was checking to make sure that the flashlight worked last night. So 
that's up there but one of those is great to have on hand as well i will say i'm saving up right now for a stanley jump starter they're only 70 dollars but it's a lot safer for your battery to use like an actual jump starter versus using booster cables to jump off of someone else's car um i did not find that out until a couple of months ago when my battery died and i had to call a tow truck and the guy happened to have my like type of battery so i was able to buy it from him and it was um almost almost 150 dollars um but he told me that actually because different batteries are like different strengths and different vehicles and blah 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 using booster cables obviously do it in an emergency but it can actually like short out your battery and like fuck your shit up even more so i'm gonna get a booster um jump starter that is like its own thing that's like super safe for your battery i'm gonna get one of those i don't have one yet but they sell them at walmart they're 60 dollars. it's on my list um so that's a really good thing to have what else do i have in here oh obviously you should have a jack in your car mine is underneath what i'm sitting on right now um yep. another hiccup i'm so sorry um oh organizing bins obviously are these and then yep Will I ever stop hiccuping? No. Um, it's also a good idea to have a power converter. I realized that my car, this car, actually already has one. Um, but basically it's something that you can plug into like your, um, you know, where you plug your phone in, <laughs> whatever it's fucking called. Um, and it'll convert it to a normal like plug. So you could take something that has plug like this and use it in your car which is great if you again are in some kind of emergency if you have a small heater with you which i would recommend during winter if you have a really severe winter um that's a good option that you can then ow do in the car sorry i'm closing this box back up oh my god it doesn't want to close okay whatever just sit back here please um i have these little like little black and decker heaters that can plug in um so those are a great little option if you have a power converter which are like twelve dollars the other big thing is basic tools i was really distressed because i basically i posted about my emergency kit on instagram and a couple of people responded and were like i don't have any of this and i was like really stressed by that so i talked about it at work yesterday and i found out that my coworkers don't have any of it either and one of my coworkers told me she doesn't even have basic tools in her car and i was really stressed by that um especially if you're young especially especially if you're a young woman you should be prepared to make some fixes to your car because honestly ideally you don't want to end up stranded somewhere alone in the dark and be vulnerable like you don't know who's gonna pull over to help um and like if you look at the news like it has happened that people have posed as police officers people have posed as tow truck drivers there was a serial killer in the 90s who posed as a repair guy and he would pull over young women or pull over to young women who were stranded on the highway and he would kill them like <laughs> this happens <laughs> like I mean, obviously, like, you know, not every repair person is evil, like, support the working class, blah, blah, but, like, as a young woman, like, especially at night, especially if you're alone, like, you don't want to be reliant on somebody else, especially if that somebody else is often a man and a stranger, like, you should be as prepared as you can to, to protect yourself and take care of yourself, um, so you should have some basic tools! Um, this is my toolbox, which I just keep in the car, it has more than basic tools in it, but, oof, sorry it's kind of heavy um stuff i feel you should definitely have in the car uh let's pull open here what do we got there's so much stuff in here i'm so sorry um so primarily a screwdriver i would recommend getting a flathead if you're only going to get one i would recommend getting two but if you're only going to get one i would get a flathead because you can use this in a phillips head screw if you need to but you cannot do the opposite. So if you have a screw or something in your car that looks like this, can you see that? You can still use the flat one to screw and unscrew it. 
However, if you have the Phillips head, you can't use that in a flat screw. Um, this also works really well if you need to pry something, uh, if you need to like pop something off or pop something into your car, whatever, this is great. Um, also a flashlight, which I already mentioned, but I do have an extra one in here. I also keep a box cutter. I also keep a regular knife. You should probably have something like that if you are driving a lot, driving alone, etc. Um, I also keep in some more extra rags. I'm not going to go over everything in this toolbox. I'm just going to go over stuff I think you should definitely have. Um, and then there are a couple of like car specific tools that are again in my um, car emergency kit. I would just recommend if you don't want to like think about different tools that you might need, just getting one of the kits so that you don't have to really worry about it. Um, but yeah, I keep basic tools in here. I got all of this kind of stuff. This is also where I keep all of my seeds, so it's kind of like not organized <laughs> right now. Um, but yeah, I would recommend having the basics um, so that if you do need to pull over and fix something or yada yada, you can take care of it. So this, I will just slide back over here. Um, and then during the summertime, I will also throw into one of the bins um, an extra suitcase. Not an extra suitcase. Why the fuck did I say that? An extra swimsuit. Also starts with an S, but is a completely different word. An extra swimsuit. Um, an extra hat. Um, cowboy hat. Not necessary, but strongly recommended. <laughs> because yeehaw. Um, uh, an extra swimsuit, an extra hat, some sunscreen, um, and some aloe vera. I always add those during the summertime. I also keep my hammock in here because, you know, sometimes you just need to spontaneously hammock. Um, I think that pretty much covers everything. Oh, for the winter, if you live somewhere that it snows, you should have a foldable snow shovel in here. They're like 15 bucks at Walmart. You should also have an ice scraper. They're literally 89 cents at Walmart. Both of those are up front right now. Or not up front, but they're in the middle seats that I can't reach. Um, and then I think that's just about it that I keep. Which I understand that all of this sounds like a really significant amount of stuff. Um, but the total so far, not including my budget for the jump starter, which is $60, the total that I've spent on everything in here is like $120 which is really not that crazy because hat, like, you know, a significant amount of that was on like the gloves and the hat and the shirt and whatever. Like those are one-time buys, whatever. Um, so this is my list. I'm going to actually make a little Google document type thing with a full list that is like a nice little shopping list that people can just use really easily. Obviously like amend this to your own needs and the climate that you live in. If you're not living somewhere that has really harsh winters, you don't need half of this stuff. Um, if you're living somewhere that has much harsher winters than I, you might want a wool blanket instead of the little fleeces, you know, whatever. Make your own amends, but I think the biggest thing is like have some things to stay warm, have some things to stay protected, have some things to keep yourself fed and hydrated if you are stranded somewhere. If you are a young woman especially, have something to protect yourself with, whether that is a knife or a taser or something of the sort. Even if it's just a flashlight that happens to be really big and heavy like those awesome mag light ones. You can whack the hell out of somebody with that if you need to. Um, <laughs> a first aid kit in case of cuts and bumps and bruises and some things to light your way. Um, whether that is your little headlamps or your little lanterns, whatever it may be something to keep you well lit um if you are stuck at night i will definitely say like even though i haven't personally been driving that long i have been in cars where we have had to pull over and change a headlight where we have had to pull over and change a tire where we have had to pull over and fix the engine in the middle of the night i've had to pull over because my tire was smoking i've had my battery die on me um i don't foresee knock on wood somewhere there's got to be wood <laughs> I don't foresee having as many issues in this vehicle because it is a newer car and it is a Subaru. So, you know, they fucking work. It's great. Um, but especially if you drive an, over, an older car, really recommend <laughs> being prepared because the biggest thing is like you never think that any of this shit's gonna happen until it does. And for me personally, I would much rather have all of this stuff and never use it 
versus get stranded somewhere in the middle of the night in the rain by myself and have nothing with me. That thought is very scary to me and it's very scary to me to think about other people, especially young women, especially young vulnerable people, vulnerable people, sorry, especially young vulnerable people, can I pronounce words? Especially young vulnerable people getting stuck somewhere and not having food, not having water, not having a way to stay warm, not having a way to stay dry, not having a way to see anything, like that's really scary. And you don't necessarily ever think it's gonna happen or think it's really realistic, but it does happen all the time. Like people get stuck all the time. Like how many times when you're driving do you see somebody pulled over on the side of the road out there trying to fix something? It fucking happens. Um, and you know, it doesn't take up as much space as you might think. Both of these together, you know, this is, let me see, oh. this is what, like three feet long maybe, and a foot wide, and like a foot tall. Like that's not taking up your entire trunk even if you do have a small car. Um, and you can stack them, and you can move them around, you can do whatever you need to do. But I think it is really important to be prepared. Um, and if you don't have an emergency kit in your car, I really feel, yep, hiccuping again, like you should <laughs> take care of that as soon as possible and be prepared, especially as it is still, yep, winter time. Um, so I will post a full shopping list in the comments below um, or in the caption or whatever the hell it's called. And I will say like some of this stuff, you can get a little bit cheaper if you go to the dollar store. I just happened to go to Walmart for this whole trip. And I did actually go through, like I have all of the prices on here that I paid for all of these things. So I know how much it costs. I calculated this last night because um, I'm taking three people that I know on trips to Walmart later next week to get them emergency kits. Um, so I spent total about 120 um, but you could definitely do it for like 75 if you are on a stricter budget <clears throat> or even a little less just depending um, on what you get but I think you know bare minimum some of these things are definitely necessary <laughs> um, so yeah get an emergency kit if you don't have one please for the sake of my personal stress levels about you being prepared <laughs> um, and if you have any questions let me know um, some of this stuff I'm sure is cheaper on Amazon as well, but I refuse to use Amazon because they are evil. Even though no ethical consumption under capitalism, whatever. Do what you need to do. Some of it is cheaper on Amazon, some of it is cheaper at dollar stores. I happen to be at a Walmart, which is where I got all of this. Um, so yeah, there are a lot of options. Make it what you need it to be, but definitely have something, like be prepared for some stuff. Um, also, if you, like, need them, I also recommend having, like, tampons and stuff like that. Like, I keep a spare box back here. Um, I also recommend keeping some, um, Midol or something like that. My first aid kit comes with ibuprofen and aspirin, so I'm covered. But, you know, keep some stuff. Be prepared. Um, please don't get stranded in the middle of nowhere with nothing in your car to help you. Please. Okay, goodbye. <laughs>